to talk briefly about Capgras delusion. This is a disorder of the brain where the frontal lobe of the brain is thought to be damaged and a person does not recognize their own family members and they think their own family members are replaced by a clone or somebody else. Now some people uh, with uh, that have taken ketamine a lot have this happen to them and it's a temporary uh, state of mind and then it come and then they come back to reality. However, they have seen this damage of the brain and ability of the brain to recognize people they they know uh, and think they're somebody else like an imposter. I've put the link below, but people with uh, brain injury, hypothyroidism, migraine attacks, diabetes, uh, and sometimes people who take ketamine. For some reason, it happens to females more often than, well, they've diagnosed it in females more than males. Now, women are more likely to go and get, try to get help than men a lot of times. So, uh, the link's below if you want to go into the de details of it. But, there are people that have uh, elderly dementia that get it. And another thing that happens quite frequently with it is this... Um, this other delusional disorder which is believing in parallel universes and believing that they can be in two places at once. Now of course there is a thing called a hologram where you can project an image in two places at once but it's not it's not the same thing as actually physically being in two places at once obviously. So this is a uh, a mind disorder that happens to some people and <clears throat> I thought you might want to look at this now. I, I gathered a couple of articles which the links are below and this is a case of an elderly patient with dementia. He was a man and he didn't he, he didn't recognize his wife and he thought, why is this woman in the house cooking me meals? Who is this? You know, and it's his wife. And, um, so also there's been, uh, a lot of other instances where a person snaps and they just... have these false beliefs that there's this imposter or replaced person. Now, it's very unfortunate because the person's out of their mind. They don't realize what they're doing. And they can still be held accountable. The unfortunate thing right now is they've been experimenting a lot with this ketamine and they've been actually using it in the government as a sedative for people in the field that the police are calling up, that, that the police need help with. And Basically, sometimes these ketamine addicts, these are people that do ketamine more than once, it damages their frontal brain and it induces psychotic or delusional state where they have this Capgras delusion and so now they're permanently mentally ill. So I just thought I'd bring the, this up and if you go to like Google Images, You can see they've done brain images on this. Oh, whoops, I got the wrong thing.
it's very sad because you know if somebody you love doesn't recognize you a lot of people that have uh, elderly relatives that have Alzheimer's you know they're like very very sad you know because this is not the same person they used to know and the person doesn't understand what's really going on I mean their brain is not functioning right it's not making the connection and they're like no no you're not my mother or you're not my father you're not my brother you're not my boyfriend you're not my brother or sister and then the people around them are offended and they don't realize that their brain is damaged and they need it and they need their help and if they get like I believe it's antipsychotic medicine they use and they stay on it regularly a lot of times that can help them to realize who their relatives are the problem is if they go off the medicine they might slip back so it's a very fragile state and um, a psychiatrist would know more about this thank you for your time and attention to this and take care bye